Stay in tune, my course, and welcome back to another episode of Road Tickets. We get into the campaigns of Gop and Dup Scanners, and last time, ooh, we finished the clan battle. Uh, well, the way it's going to be edited for you guys is it'll be one, first half is the first part, and the second half is the second part, and oh god, uh, was that battle tight. Although we did manage to come out of it with an Ebon Jag, which is great. Uh, we I'm still have to run the science experiment to see if we break down a primitive Helopolis, can we combine it with an advanced Helopolis? But we will find out the answer to that question and more later. <laughs> For now, uh, we need to go and play a few games. This is our future evac zone. Uh, I kind of want to be near it. Really? 392? So, so can I just drop in my future evac zone so I don't have to play shenanigans with you? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, because just in case, that way nobody gets stuck on anything. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Patching and considering which to start to try. I really think the, gen the generic mercenary start is a fine start. Uh, unless you have, unless you have a sp specific mech in mind that you want to go for, in which case go to wherever they are. I'm curious, nice. What do you change? I know originally the the only modding that we ever did for Rogue Tech was we removed the ability for allies to spawn. Oh, it's a Bradley. How adorable. It's an Ignis. And you are some sort of hover missile spammer. Beautiful. I don't actually have to kill any of you. Well, actually, no, I do need to kill the initial group, and then I can leave. Everything after that is apparently only 50,000 seagulls. Leave <laughs> to myself on YouTube. Waiting for my opening. We must reserve and let the vehicles go first. I know it sucks, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I'm holding. Wow, these vehicles just suck. They're on 10 and 9. Oh, and then we've got up here. What are you? What are you? Unknown. Over to the bottom sucks, but spawn protection. It's the war crimes mobile. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of describing it. <sighs> Alright, are you guys finally gonna start moving and doing shit? Because I can't move until you move. Returning most weapons to tabletop values with appropriate multiplication with battle tech. Oh, interesting. Thank you for shooting at the warrior. That made my my life a little bit easier, but I do need to now murder you. Was it you who did that, or was there somebody else? I wasn't really paying attention. Since you're just vehicles, vehicles are boring, and I hate you. The penalty for next round is going to be so bad. Because we're just preserving everybody like four times. It's terrible. This is, um, don't hit me. They hit me. Okay. Light damage, so basically, Commander. you put the crime weapons back to the future values. That would take a very, very long time. All right, that's all of the moving. Let's get this need? show on the road. Oh, good. You, you can't move fast enough to do anything. That's that's just beautiful. Uh, nine per, or point nine, point nine, and point nine. Yeah, you're not doing anything. Have to wait for everybody else to do things. But really, it was just a way of avoiding being Waiting shot at too much. Russian. Was that a mech? No, it's not. It's a Pegasus. That's pretty good. That's not very good. It's terrible. All right, we'll target the uh, the Ignis down here. I will not fire the tag arrow because I don't want to waste it on somebody who's not really affected by it. Locked on. So it'll just lob weapons into him. Camera off. Yes, Commander. Bring forth your warrior. Bring your warrior spirit. I think I only need to kill these people and then I can be leave, and I'm really going to just immediately leave because the 50,000 seedles that they'll pay me extra is just not worth it. Right here. Mm -hmm. I will take more armor damage than that. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just Do run. That. 11%. Uh, I have learned that you really don't have enough ammunition to do that, so just chill. Hello, Blue Ninja. How are we doing? Uh, not too terribly. We just finished a massive clan battle. Which was very unfun, and now we're trying to make some money. Well, no, it, it's not that it was unfun. It was difficult. There's a difference. It was enjoyable, uh, but we had to struggle with it quite a bit. Location confirmed. 20 clan mechs and vehicles versus our, our little augmented company. Uh, what's that? We did manage to pull through Heading in the end. Way. And stole some decent equipment. Let's just get... Actually, no, I want to save it for the instability that it causes on mechs. If we run into it. Uh, that can be hypnotizing, like watching restoration vids. Wait, what? Uh, got wrapped up in watching a repair vid in N03A3 stream. 
Uh, oh, is that a rifle I see? All right. Shade! Uh, Commander? Shade, where are you? Forward. Shade will get onto solid ground, but not be able to do anything. Being a direct fire weapon specialist. Talik, where are you? Talik is at the back of the group. We had to nerf him so that he wouldn't be too powerful. Let's move. Otherwise, he would just be on top of the enemy and they wouldn't be able to do anything. And wait, bring order. the harasser up into immediate conflict. That's like it. I understand. So, vehicles up first. Although that mission did emphasize the need that we have for. Uh, oh, shoot, I fired a narc beacon at him. Did I actually hit him with a narc? I think it did. That mission did emphasize our need for more powerful, tougher vehicles that can handle a little bit more damage. Especially the warrior. The warrior went down on like round two. Which we expected, but at the same time, it's like, dude. Oh, that narc beacon paying dividends already. Yeah, that didn't work. What hey, Ogre. 2 will be able to provide some long range fire support. We're going to have to wait before we can start bringing the main guns into there. 18, 26, 09. Coming your way. I like the missions are tough and have a real damager. I enjoy them as well. That last mission was interesting. Check out Mike Novak. He goes down the rabbit hole on unusual firearms. Interesting. All right, Talik, despite having, you know, waited like four rounds, you still managed to roll very well. And your accuracy is unrivaled. Oh. Oh, this is going to be fun. I want to see if I can't guarantee a kill. It's tempting. We'll run it at five and we'll start picking up to the six later. Uh, I'm only going to get one round of this before I need to start shooting, you know, lesser volleys. So, yeah, we'll do that. Hey, we got it. And then it just keeps going. I'm going. I'm going. Making you live in interesting times. All right, so we have the Ignis off the field, which is wonderful. Uh, we are looking at three units, one of them being a Falcon, which is just a Pegasus, and the Chariot, which has tandem 10 rocket launchers that he's already used, so we're not all that worried about him. And finally, a Pegasus, which is the same as the Falcon. So we're feeling pretty safe on that. Um, the point is to provide the C3 to the Lance. It's not really to do anything beyond that. Uh, but again, we're not going to bother with anything important. Any changes to the lances uh, from last time? I don't think so. Although, we now have two clan battle mechs that we need, or two clan omni mechs that we need to build. And that may take some time. Around here. Just so I have various lines of sight. I would like to kill these people quickly for the obvious reason that reinforcements are on the way. And I'd like them to not be there. Fuck that. That was nowhere near. Thunderbolt, though? What would I put the Thunderbolt on, though? Also, we've reached the point where there's a lot of AMS. <laughs> unless I... Unless you stack on, like, four Thunderbolts and use your first Thunderbolt as a, um... What it's called? As a decoy? It's gonna be a little bit difficult to get anything through. Although, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Problem is, Thunderbolts are heavy. They're basically missile-based autocannons. Like, that's the best way to think of a Thunderbolt, is it is an autocannon except in missile form, and can shoot non-line of sight. 14, 8, and 9. Okay. That accomplished nothing. Holy Inquisition. I'm listening. How fast can you move? How soon can you be over the hill? I really like the fact that the missile sensor system that we have on this thing has reduced the LRM range to such an extent that we really can do anything we want with it. I'll use the listen kills for this round. Yes, I'll pop up on top of the next round. I should have a direct line of sight able to do some serious damage to these people. Orders. Pyro, no target. I copy. We just have to hope they don't bomb me. More worried about his ammo. Ah. VIP. Yep. Time to move. Little LRM5. All that's gonna do for us. Roger. Pretty. Pretty. Accomplishing nothing. Planning on rebuilding the disco pult? Uh, what was the disco pult again? I don't remember a disco pult. I remember a disco cat. 
But that was a shadow cat. <laughs> Leave me alone with that PPC. You've already hit me once. What I really need right now, and what I'm actually dying for, is heats and kits. You have orders? Like, the lack of heats and kits is absolutely crippling at the moment, and I need to invest a huge amount of time into actually getting my hands on them. Because if we don't, we're never going to be able to build anything. Roger. Full it has become an incredibly important issue. Hit you with a bomb. Guess okay, that was great. Ferris did not rumble though. Did it die? I don't think it did. I think we just ended up retiring it. It was so ridiculously fast because we had a huge engine and mask on it. And just would go anywhere we wanted to do. Huh, that was close. Was it an MRM 80 or a heavy MRM 60? Oh, that. That was our uh, Catapult Mark III. Commander. Yeah, that was two MRM 30s with acid ammunition. Which, you know, was fun. He has that ammunition would just melt through any target. And then more damage to you. Solid connection on that one. Yeah, Commander. Shades Gled Hitor. Oh, we have just a lot of ground to move. They're vehicles, so they're tough, and they can move very quickly. And it's very difficult Waiting to follow them. So it ends up just taking a whole heck of a lot of Understood. time. Understood. Moving fast. Bit of heavy armor mech of some sort. But it blew itself in orbit. Oh, the, um, that would be Orion. The Orion had two heavy MRM-40s, and it was incredible. I think it also had a HAG. It had, like, a HAG-20 or something. Uh, I was watching the fun of the mass acid mold and everything. Receiving you. But yeah, it, it got involved in a battle where it basically had to stand the line against, like, four or five other mechs with tons of artillery. And it just never quite had a sufficient amount of punch to survive that. Which we knew was going to happen, but... Receiving you. You know, it was painful nonetheless. Abax is just going to move quickly. Make sure that we have some protection Roger on this that. one. Giving everybody the ECM bubble. I copy. I'm messing with you. The heavy arm got crit in one boom. Myth. Oh, that one! <laughs> we got so many different mechs. Uh, that was the cauldron board. That was the, that was the never dying cauldron board. Heavy uh, rooms I have featured quite often on our channel because they're very, very good. <laughs> Some would say, and I would agree, too good. Yeah. Although we're not using the MMS, so your mileage may vary. In direct line of sight, and, no, oh, there we are granted with the glorious privilege of perfectly direct lines of sight on the side dorsals. Uh, if I switched over 60s, huh, 60s you say? Well, let's see if we can't kill you before you can do anything. Here goes everything. That was a bit slow, but yep. Yeah. Once built an atlas with a streak MRM-80, it was quite special. <laughs> special good or special bad? Waiting for orders. Shade also has that line of sight. Beautiful shade tends to be rather accurate for this BBC's. 33 versus 43. We'll take the 43 any day. Roger that. That went nowhere. Okay. Negative damage. All I need to do is kill these little tiny units, but no. The enemies dropped right on top of what Roger we're trying that. to do, and I'm going to have to kill them as well. And I wasn't hired to do that. Game, why? Well, Captain, ride upon your mistress ship. Order. And then if I kill all of these people more... All they're gonna do is give me 50,000 seals, which won't even cover gas. And I know why they did it, and I think it was dumb. There's not enough people telling them that it was dumb. Uh, it will wither, it wither murdered when I shot it, or didn't I shoot it at all? Long time ago, I built my Disco Death 8 heavy improved large lasers. Clan. Although, I think all improved all is a clan. Uh, with all the heat sinking bonuses I could get, including the 15% bonus heat sinking shoulders, I could fire all of them every round when standing in water. <laughs> Which can fit eight heavy large lasers. Uh, that's only, let's say, eight times four. That's only 32, 36? 32 tons. So, a lot of things can fit that. How might I help? 
question is, where did you get all the heat again? <laughs> all right. I need to get a shout out. That will, that will absolutely do. Well, can I, can I be faster? Uh, I want the side angle. There we go. As you wish. The reason I want the side angle is so I can do this. Aha! Who else is next? Oh, our VIP. What do you need? Please don't die, VIP. I don't really want to do anything with you, but hey, I have to. It's like bringing your kid brother or something. Aye, aye. Engaging target. Now you're totally in cool. Still 32 tons. Targeting system. You can fit that in a lot of client designs, especially the heavier ones. Anything 75 tons and up, and up can take care of that. I'm still wondering where he fits the heatsinking in there. Because you would have had to use like a radical approved double heatsink kit or something like that. Or radical approved, just a radical double heatsink kit. But even that is going to struggle with the heat. Morning. Do you want to know what's super rare and you almost never run into? Watch, somebody's going to tell me about. Oh, I had 15 of them. Uh, but. Not cave lions, but the bigger one. The Kodiaks. We've, I've seen like two Kodiaks in my entire career of playing this game. I've been playing this game since 2018. I've been playing the, and streaming this game since 2018. And I've seen like two Kodiaks ever. Uh, I have never seen a bull shark. Ever. So. Gotta find more of them weird things. <laughs> But we keep doing all these periphery starts. <laughs> these periphery starts and primitive starts and vehicle only starts. <laughs> that sucks is so far back. Uh, little, most likely proto. Systems yeah, the proto radical double heat sinks and some laser insulators along with the heat sleeve, the heat dissipating armor with the mag exchanger and heat bank. Heat banks plus exchangers with heat dissipation armor. Could be. Although that is that's just so much damage though, because that is eight times eight, which. It's a big number. 64. Yeah, that's six, 640 damage. Alright, what dropped on us? There looks to be a Hollander, a Scarecrow, and I don't know what you are. We got the Vulcan, Scarecrow, a uh, Hollander, and a Mongoose. Wait, what? But the Mongoose has its own model. Why is it using... Okay, um, so can somebody let the Rogue Tech team know that the Mongoose 86 is apparently still using a Panther model? And that, unless he's like buried inside of another mech, which can happen on occasion. We'll see if he pops out and becomes multiple mechs. Yeah. But at the moment, it looks to be like the, uh, the Mongoose 86 is using the wrong model. <laughs> These things can happen. That'll be it. Look at all that spawn protection. All that bullshittery. Uh, I had every heat sink item I could find, especially with heat protection. But it was bright as the sun. <laughs> He's brooded? Buried, I think? Let's... Oh yeah, I've got two lines traveling to him. So I've got a mongoose and a panther. Or one of a dozen other mechs. Alright, we're just gonna use the missiles, because... I'll try I'm hoping for scattering. Yep, yeah, you can see it. Okay, there he is. Yeah. Scored a critical hit. Buried inside. Uh, what's that? Buried alive. Finally, we get Big Iron to play. Unfortunately, Big Iron's shot is going to be absolutely god awful, but that's not the point. The point is, we're going to be shooting Big Iron. That's going to be fun. I'm going to warlord it just to make it as accurate as I possibly can. Turn on the AP gas surface, because why not? Keep the one heavy medium off just to keep the temperatures under control. Okay, that worked, I guess. And then Talik. Talik actually does stand a half a chance of hitting anybody because of his lock-on missiles. They are streaks. Gives him a 50% chance to hit. That Hollander is carrying a gas effort, which is not, not fun. Turn that on. Lobbing misses into this and seeing if we can break out of it. Ooh, that's good penetration. 
I need the torso. There we go. We got it. Tango down. Why do you say 86, not 66 or 1696? Wait, what? What are we talking about? Uh, it's fine. Dream was just Mecha Jenga. <laughs> that mongoose will possess you. That's what it's there for. It will take you over What's and up, eat boss? your soul. Let's see how close I can get to you. Not very close at all. Here's what I'll do. Because <laughs> we're actually doing... We, we do very well on initiative. Let's see if this works. Sensors locked on. I don't use this ability very often. Because I don't like it. Well, it's not that I don't like it. I just... I always want to shoot somebody instead. All those are so good but so fragile. I don't even think they're all that good. They're fragile urban mechs. I just, I just can't get over the fact they're fragile, bloody urban mechs. Mongoose 86. Yep, he, he split out from his host. His host is a Panther 9R. The Mongoose 86 is light PPC, ER small, medium small. Huh? So we have a small laser, but then it also an ER is small. Two medium lasers and a light PPC. This seems odd. Uh, why did the game suddenly struggle, but with so few units on the board? Uh, I don't know. It's not... Unfortunately, it's not really the most optimized game ever. And so it can chug at times when it shouldn't. Or even when you have a really good rig. Like, I have a decent rig. Not, it's nothing amazing, but it's pretty decent. And it chugs on me. Let's see if we can't kill Mr. Vulcan. Die, Scarecrow! I was hoping for something more dramatic, but I'll take it. Let's do this. Centurion. Hey, you're in the back. Roger that. No shooting, just running. Rear shot. Rams. Miniguns. Miniguns running at maximum load. And I'll throw on the Warlord just to see if I can kill him before, you know, anything important happens. I would like you to be dead. Well, you owe your friends. I'll take out. Are you gonna explode? Hey! He'll blow up. Alright, that's two out of four killed before they can move. Now all I need to do is kill this panther and I'll be perfectly happy. I mean, it would be nice to have killed the mongoose as well, but... I take what I can get. Get the light. I'll take it. Don't let him melee you. Love mine. I put a thumper into him. Had it since day one. Is still kicking and taking it. <laughs> who's next? Who's, who's next? Okay. Ready for orders. Character's portrait always looks like super, like, dark in color, like the same sort of saturated gray, and so it can be hard sometimes to tell if he's like available to do anything. I right, gotta keep the BBC off because eventually I'm gonna want to use it, but I don't want to waste it on a 35 percent. But instead, I'm just going to lob a whole bunch of pieces in his face. And that'll be a really nice hit. Taken a Unfortunately, I don't think... Oh, I do have somebody else. Is it Pyro? Reporting. No, it's weighted. How badly damaged is he? Oh, he's quite badly damaged. Yes, Commander. Weighted, what I want you to do is I want you to drive in kind of next to him. If I can get six, that'd be great, but that's not going to happen. Okay, I'll take the five. And now we're going to lob... A sticky bomb at him to see what happens. Explosives have been placed. Reporting. Critical hit. We have planted the bomb. What are you gonna do with it? Come on. Come on, what are you gonna do? Nothing? It's gonna turn around and be a punk. VIP! Yeah. Why did I bring you again? Oh right, because mommy told me I have to. Alright, full speed. Can I break anything on you? Let's find out. Take this. No, no, she's not that good. Someone set us up at the home? Well, I was thinking more Counter-Strike, but sure, we can go with that one, too. Take go. Going All right, Pyro finally getting in the battle. Pyro got killed not really early in the last battle, but he did get kind of uh, removed from the game a little bit quicker than I had anticipated. But they were packing, like, so many heavy large laser people. Firing. Oh, that was good. That was so good. Did that kill? No, it didn't. Did I get even close to? Yeah, it got pretty close to actually. Pegasus joining the battle, engaging the civilian. And succeeded. The two mix are just looking at each other like, what is with this guy? Why is he getting involved? Just surrender. Allow us to look good. 
two more units that need to think about what they're, is they're doing. We are currently just fully ingrained electronically on what's going on right now. Because of the position of our AWACS. It's just in the middle of everything. Everybody's linked up with their C3s. Everybody's got their jammers operating appropriately. We should be able to clean most of this up next round. See if more enemy forces show up as well. And thank God he keeps wasting his fire and air targets. Otherwise, that might actually hurt. Okay, we have one more round to hopefully wipe these guys out before more reinforcements will likely gone. arrive. Uh, if you can nail that mongoose, I would love it, but if not, then don't kill yourself. Yeah, you can't even see it. That's fine. Um, no. Yes. Mm, actually, probably not. Uh, the heavy's got to shut off. It's just too much heat. Too much heat for the back panel. Oh, never mind. I know who we have to kill now. <laughs> Confirm. Fire. You missed a 92, but never mind. Your rotary cannon actually did it. Order? Uh, I, I really do absolutely love that Talos. It is designed so perfectly. Can you actually step on them? No, you don't. That's fine. You're just gonna walk up and punch your friend. Move order received. Metaphysically. I mean, with with big energy weapons. Wow, the game really is checking whenever a special fight is happening. Target's taking a critical hit. Alright. Can we just clean him up? Yeah. Catapult saith yes. Well, if the catapult saith yes, then I'm oh, gonna geez, guess that he's about to get good. turned into absolute uh -huh. Swiss cheese. Isn't that my missiles? <laughs> oh, you didn't even need the missiles. All you needed was the rotary cannon. And there goes the panther. And a nice, glorious explosion of fire. I got him. Who is next? We still have to kill that mongoose. That mongoose is probably going to be the Commander. more difficult target on the field now. Well, I could run up to you and step on you and then fire heavy weapons into you, and it might actually be just just hilarious enough to work. Oh, no, I'm in charge range. Never mind. Uh, which side is that on you? Your damage comes to us from the right side. He's facing me, which means this is his left. Which means this is his right. You got it. Going well, I hope that that off. works. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to be annoyed. No, it worked. Perfect. Uh, do I want... Yeah, I'll go MRMs in improved mode, because I think I can jump through. Bubble! And she's gone. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Alright, two more units to go, and then we've cleared the board. Uh, huh? Hi, Big Iron. I don't care about that other guy right now. You're going to focus on killing that way. the mongoose. You're going to do so in style. All you got to do is get close. You did not get close at all. I was hoping for a little bit more instability on that one. Did not happen. Commander. Yeah, Mroth, if you wouldn't mind. Take it. Good to go. Get the chopper on over. Take aim at the target. And pop it. It's not happy with that at all. Is this our Mongoose friend? 21? Yes, it is. Well, 12 is going to be the vehicle. The vehicle is rather, really is rather vulnerable if I can get to it. Mongoose didn't look like he moved that far, although he did then move into you know, the, this garbage. So I may have to walk up and punch him in the I'm face. Showing minor damage. Necessarily opposed to this. It's just it's probably going to happen. Ground equipment is offline for the next five turns. <laughs> Jesus, can you just turn around and see the target? Apparently not. There we go. So we have basically no defense or evasion at the moment. I'll throw in the tag arrow and don't want the bomb mines. Put in a little bit of Warlord, see if I can't make sure that tag hits, because I want that tag to hit. Firing an enemy stick. That tag did not hit. If I can't remove everything. What's the plan? Harasser can't go after the Mongoose, because the Mongoose is currently about to be bombed, but it can go after our little friend over here. Only for evasion, but that's fine. 
He's cheap. Explosives planted. Receiving you. And then here comes T I double G R. Well, we did actually manage to hit him with a missile, so I can't go completely against what just happened. And Kager, will you be able to wade on through it. and just utterly annihilate somebody? Uh, you'd have to shoot through the catapult if you did that. Wait, no. Yeah, your lane is actually reasonably clear. Yeah, throw in the snub on this one and see what you can get done. Wow, that was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. I thought I'd get at least one hit. Yep. Glad the VIP is agreeing with me, but I don't Let's necessarily move. like them. Although I did need a spot to fill in for the long broomstick, and this will work quite nicely. I missed. You did. Horrifically so. You, I don't think you've actually managed to hit anything so far with any real consequence. Maybe a missile here or there. Your mind, little one. He needs to decide where it is he goes. Come for missiles, and we're still fine. Enjoy your explosive pot. Heavy damage. Oh. oh, that looked good. I saw penetration on that one. Yes. Excellent. Good to go. All right, Shade. Give a good old fashioned on walk. Take aim. Confirmed. Ooh. Ooh, that one. Yes. Removed with extreme prejudice. Receiving you. Now Talit can focus on the vehicle. Got it. It's all up to you, Talik. You're the chosen one or something. Uh, we'll throw a warlord because I think I might actually be able to grab him. Oh, he has heavy MRMs. These I think these are the first heavy MRMs we've seen. So he's actually full on risk here. So we'll nail through all of that. And uh, that should take out uh, pretty much all of his armor. And Talik just kept on going to kill it because he had 60 missiles to fire. Perfect. Not bad. Both legs at once, now he's showing off. Shade likes to show off. We're going to have to get him a Warhammer at some point. Or we'll have to figure out a mech that he really likes and wants to drive. We'll see if we can't go searching for it. Sadly, I doubt we're going to find my favorite mech in time before it becomes obsolete. Because we are definitely moving into that phase of the game. <laughs> oh. Why? Why do I have to fall in love with mechs that fall out of favor so quickly? Alright, 1.1 million seabills, so a little bit lighter than what we were hoping for. Of course, that includes the dog quest. The mission seems short. Uh, it was just a normal battle at, like, two skulls, so it's not the most amazing thing. They want the mongoose and the pegasus parts, and they offered to give us sensors and trackers. <laughs> we already have the pegasus part. Uh, I will accept your, your desire to swap them out. <laughs> Perfect. That'll give us additional rep. Which we don't really need. I mean, we are kind of making friends with, with Barak. It's kind of by accident, but it's happening. So that'll give us a nice little boost right there. And it's not like we were taking for anything useful anyway. But we do need a little bit more cash. Just a little bit. We need to get to the end of the month, and I need to be continuing to upgrade the Argo. And I don't know if we're between Argo upgrades right now. I'll have to look into that, because that'll be important. Because if we are, then uh, we need to work on things. That should help store prices since they're local. That's true. They are local. Although, we don't really buy anything from them. There's surely nothing of any use in the shop. And the vedette that we brought, we've even stopped using. Mainly because we have a tonnage restriction, but that'll be lifted soon. Two days of repair, 18,000. Nice, nice. 1.36. See, now we look much more reasonable, don't we? <laughs> Alright, we need to give a couple of days for the people to stop feeling tired. Oh. And yeah, six days on that long boomstick. I also want to build that Calderborn, and I can't, because I have to I have to wait until the end of the month. Although also I have other mechs to build. I just need money. I need a lot of money. So we'll probably have to take another cash contract 
Yes, Commander. Damn Same time, right. I also need heat sinks really badly. Oh look, Nordican has managed to level up. I'm not gonna level him up because I don't Ready feel him at the moment. Plate has not leveled up in a useful ability. Standing by. Neither has Pyro. What can I do for you? Fine Shade is our first level nine gunnery, and yes, I'm so boss. proud of him. Tempted to just blitz him to level ten. Hey, Sprogue's leveled up. Give him some tactics. Or even better initiative while he drives that thing around. We may give Sprogue the um I think it would be appropriate to give Sprogue our first our first clan back, considering he is a claner. Receiving you. He does love his clans. Uh waited. Hmm. I think I'm gonna wait to pick up Warlord. Just because I love it so but we need one more mission for cash. Welcome to the Grease Pit, Commander. See, it's not even close to the end of the month. It's 13 days. We got plenty of time. Yeah, we got a Storm Crow to build. And then we've got the Ebon Jag. And then we have our science experiment to run. At some point. Uh, let's just quickly sell off the Falcon, because it's useless to us. And the Pegasus for a similar problem. 231,000 Siebels for that. There's so much money for that vehicle. And it's not a very good vehicle. Alrighty, what are we on to next? We have... Yeah, we got a half hour. We got time. Check out the command center to see what else there is to do. Uh, preferably something that'll pay out well for relatively little risk. The uh, Operation Green Elephant... If it didn't have me fighting Klein Diamond Shark, I'd probably jump on that one. Darned Darkness. That Garsh Darned Darkness. Also against Diamond Shark. Okay, let's let's not do that. Elderly Pneumonia. That's that's definitely that's definitely an operation name. Against the pirates, but it is three skull, and I worry that that might actually become a little bit more difficult than I want it to be. Do we have a duel at some point? I miss duels. Duels were so much fun. <laughs> I think there was a short time at the beginning of the campaign. Uh, what are we not in the red? At that point, we bought some really expensive gear. Broad shopping is an escort. Search materials that won't be mechs. And it fights Clan Barak, and we're trying to kind of make friends with Barak, although we're also kind of trying to make friends with Comstar at the same time. See if there's anything in the store. I do need some supplies. Like, I can't deny that. The goblin and the vedette. Is this a good vedette? Hey, it's the same vedette we've got. Ultra AC20 clan. Oh, why do you do that to me, game? That would be so lovely to have. And then, of course, here's the clan double heats and kits, which are four million a piece. A little bit expensive for my blood. I'd love to, but I can't afford it. I do need them, though. <laughs> But I can't afford four million a piece. Uh, figure out what to do. Unfortunately, it looks like we're just going to have to be fighting clans, which really sucks. Because I don't want to fight the clans. Not for a mission of this payout. Which was 0.277. Fighting Diamond Shark either way. I need the money. I need the money. So I can build the mechs to go challenge the enemy and murderize them. Turn them into Swiss cheese. Alright, we have an empty slot, of course. That was for spirits. Sadly, spirits' mech is currently not functional. Uh, we will put him in the hunchback. Holy might be angry about this, but Holy is currently driving. What are you driving, Holy? Holy, what are you doing? Yeah, a catapult, so you can't complain. Them is the rules. Could swap out the harasser. Waited hasn't made friends with it that much yet. Put him back in the vedette. As long as I've got the tonnage available, I may as well use it. Until we get our uh, Holopolis back on track. So, let's drop down and cause some mayhem. The X20 ammo? There's a single double ton of it, yes. I lost my smoky. It couldn't be recovered. Oh, that sucks. Now that was your really toasty one with the twin PPCs, wasn't it? Losing good mechs like that can always be a pain. Especially Bushwhackers. Bushwhackers are just solid. 
can't really knock the bushwhacker too much. It's a, just good design. Uh, if it means it's not my fault when the silver forecast breaks its face. It is always your Actually, no. You're, since you're not driving it, it can't be your fault. You're now driving a much more reliable, stable catapult. Which is odd, but... I kind of wish that I could modify it a little bit more. Turn it into an A1. Or not an A1, a C1. But sadly, it is stuck being a C4. Nibble, though. Pretty nimble. Bushbackers seem to pop up for me. Where are you in the galaxy right now? Because I have not... I have seen one Bushwhacker so far this entire campaign. Oh, Bushwhackers just seem to pop for you? I mean, it's the, the XL engine most of them have. I feel like Evasion was nerfed across the board, but I'm not sure. Because you, I just don't stack up the huge Evasion Command numbers that I'm used to seeing. Initiated. Oh crap, are we in... Is this the Badlands or the Moon? Because I kind of feel like it's the Moon. Oh goodness. So our drop point is initially immediately right on top of the enemy force. Okay. I can work with that. On the border of Turian and Davian space. Ah, so I'm on I so you are you are here. I am over here. So I should bridge that gap. Turn the draw between the two. It's backwards. Yeah, bridge that gap between these two locations. I give up. It's too hard. Bad lens in Oh boy, here we are. What do we got? What do you got? What are you? Please be something stupid that I don't like desperately crave. So far, you're not impressing me. You're a panther or a panther standard. Could be so many different things. Uh, but obviously we're gonna wait. Let's go. Actually, no. First, we're gonna check to see where we are. Oh no, Martian. Oh right. <laughs> I haven't been to a Martian biome in forever. Jeez. Oh, it's a wolf hound? Alright. Didn't notice the head. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. It's got the slope. You little punk. Come over here. I'm going to teach you some manners. You didn't move? Yeah, come over here. I'm about to teach you some manners. Who's up? Standing by. No shooting. Just running. Oh, shit. Well, I feel foolish. It was a trap. It was a trap this entire time, and I fell right into it like a moron. Oh boy, Spro, you're about to get shot at a lot. Oh, it's a falcon. Apparently. There we go. That's a kill. We have returned to the deserts, holy Mars. <laughs> Okay, uh, should I other? even try? I think I have to try. Otherwise, Spur's gonna get shot and it's gonna be bad. The ghost sucks, but apparently the Mistlinks is there. Are you an energy Mistlinks? We don't even know. That's just somehow That's so much worse. Oh, we did actually mention Could you? That didn't hit? I thought you did hit. It looked like you hit him. Apparently, you didn't. Good job. By good job, I mean what the ever loving hell. Incoming missiles! Yeah, Spurg's about to get shot at a lot. Also, you know, swarm missiles. Unfun. Very unpleasant. Reporting minimal damage. Ready for orders. Leak. You devise your super advanced combat computers. Your target lock on capability. To utterly murk a fool. That's a 33, I will take it. And then do a fire and forget mode, which is kind of going to suck, but what I've got. Turn off the re engine. Let it rip! I see penetration! Come on, give me more penetration. Nope, not enough. What'd you get through? Anything? We don't even know. We just know that he got through. Gamroth, why didn't you like walk right up to him and say hi and see what you can do? Holding off. Oh hi, it's a huntsman. That's gonna suck. <laughs> yes, it was exactly where we wanted it to be. Warlord, just just in case I can maybe scramble out a single streak. Oh, hey, we scrambled out that streak. Unfortunately, it didn't hit anything useful. Hit it. How's it going? 